Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and Lorna Shore has been spending the last couple of years blowing our minds, making us ask the question, is that even possible? Can you really do that? Is that really his voice? Can they really play that fast? Today, they changed the game again. They're going to ask you this question. Do you believe in good storytelling? My name is Old School Nerd. Let's find out. <laughs> Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all the social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate all of you. <sighs> Check us out on Twitch.tv slash OldSchoolNerd. I stream almost every night, and I will probably be talking about this video tonight live on Twitch because I got an email from someone at Century Media and they said, Hey, are you going to react to the new Lorna Shore? And I went, there's a new Lorna Shore? They're like, get on it. I'm like, oh, yeah. All right, Will Ramos and the guys... The last time, you know, the first time I reacted to Lorna Shore, I was like, oh my God, Will's voice. Is he killing a pig? Is he not killing a pig? What other animal is he trying to kill? The guy's vocal effort and his professionalism and technique is like no other. And then the next couple of songs, I'm like, man, the band can do anything too. And I was like, but every single song is like, an onslaught just it's so much it's fast it's big it's heavy it's intricate and and that's good that's what they're trying to do but i was warned ahead of time i was like dude you don't i was warned by another reactor who got to see this early i've just not i haven't seen this yet they're like you're gonna love this one because i know what you love more than anything and that's storytelling and i went yeah and what I mean by is musical storytelling, proper arrangement and a long roller coaster of musical, not just blow through, but you know, he's like, this is it for you. And I'm like, yes. So let's try it now. This one's called Pain Remains One, Dancing Like Flames. And apparently, according to what people have said, it's a little long. So let's see how long it, it takes. By the way, all the information about Lorna Shore will be in the description below, including the original link to this. Please, thank you so much for seeing my reaction, giving me a thumbs up. It helps out my channel so much. Subscribe if you like. I'm always doing some stuff here. But more importantly, go down to the description, go to the original link, check out Lorna Shore's original video, give that one a like. Why? They're making this amazing music. I'm just reacting to it. Let's go. Well, no animals have died yet, so yes, this is definitely different. Is that keys in the background? They really can do anything, right? Oh God. Oh God. What is, what is going on? This is beautifully built. Oh my God.
god. my god the cutoff holy crap it just it cut off mid-measure because people don't die it suddenly cuts off will ramos adam D'Amico, austin archie andrew o'connor michael yeager um austin went off just letting you know now okay let's let's go back through i want to talk about some of this stuff um i didn't want to stop it because once, I, once it started, I didn't even want to stop it and ruin anything because I hadn't heard it yet. Um, let's play it through while we watch it. I just want to tell you what I thought. Um, well, uh, now you can check off um, Heartfelt Power Ballad of Loss from Lorna Shore's list. Now you're like, well, no, that's not a power ballad. That's not power metal. This is, no, you don't understand. Um, yes, Lorna Shore did what Lorna Shore does which is intense, extremely fast, extremely precise, high technique musicianship, okay? But the arrangement of the song, the downbeat and the count was like a lot of heartfelt power songs that you remember from every genre of music, but this was do doing it in the way that Lorna Shore does. The, the 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 story arc the way the arrangement the line outs yeah they just put in 
eight times more notes per measure than a normal song would for this purpose, but it's still the same thing. And the message is still the same of love, of extreme loss, of how the, the, the pain's never going to go away. And this, this is not cool. And this, for everyone that's in a relationship, especially a lifelong relationship, you feel this pain, or if you've never felt this pain before, you know that you're afraid that one day you will. And what really caught me was that chorus because yes, the buildup was very uh, epic symphonic with the keys and real big, like it's going to be a power ballad. But then they went into that Lorna Shore speed and precision that you expect from their type of, from their type of music. And then when you get to the chorus, Will does Will's voice, but that downbeat, that build, the, Da, na, na, na. that whole chord progression is still that that emotional storytelling but it's but will's still doing will his voice is still will's voice but yet it's in that style of saying this is a song that is emotionally geared for a reason and then we get into the build out. They go into their normal, just holy crap, hang on to your seats. So much going on. You, you could pay attention to the guitars if you like, but if you do, you're going to miss out on what's going on with the drums. And if you can pay attention to both, then you're a genius and congratulations. But what got me was when they went into that guitar solo, and that was a quintessential classic epic guitar solo on an emotional, uplifting, or soul destroying level the rest of the band kept going Lorna Shore style so the guitarist is playing this epic guitar solo while the rest of the band is just tearing it up like I said Austin during that guitar solo I was listening to the guitar solo but I could hear Austin just layering these counts that were so rapid and so big it just your blood would just rush you were just so pumped up and then the visualizations, the actors who played in this, the story they're playing with the the lifelong love and then loss and, and a death. And it's everything that you expect in a emotionally charged storytelling song of loss and love. Except it's Lorna Shore. And they did it their way. They didn't change who they are, but they just proved that you can take their speed, their precision, their technique, and their level of metal and make an emotional ballad power song that just still has all the dynamics of a classic. This blew me away. This is crazy. Oh my God. This is the guitar solo. Oh my God. I want to, I want to unmute it so bad. All right, um, let me let me just go back to, to this part right here. All right, so uh, this was Lorna Shore. Uh, and the name of the song is Pain Remains One, okay? And it's Dancing Like Flames. This is by far my favorite Lorna Shore song they've made, period, by far. I love a lot of the stuff they do. Um, I can honestly say that I respect their level of musicianship vocal prowess technique and what they can accomplish creatively more than i love their music from a enjoying music standpoint i've made no bones about that this song is playlist this is a song that this song is playlist because it doesn't matter if you love will's vocal technique or not it doesn't matter if you like fast fast musicianship this is a classic love song and it's done unapologetically the way only Lorna Shore can do it my name is old school nerd and this was Lorna Shore the pain remains dancing like flames from century media it just came out this is my reaction thank you guys for coming in hey if we hadn't learned anything from this from this song enjoy your metal but remember love one another take care of each other we're all stuck on this mud ball together see you guys later Oh. Um.